ตนนเตนนโอ้ว้าว I think this episode is um, had a long way coming yeah I've I've actually did an unboxing of this dripper before this is the puzzle dripper I got caught up in the competition preparations and then I traveled to Taipei and then we went on a vacation with my wife and our doggies I've been just so occupied the past few weeks so today we are going to brew with the puzzle dripper and I'm gonna compare the puzzle dripper with two different very popular brands that is on the market right now so the U60 we're gonna compare it with an origami using a Kalita filter and the U80, we're gonna compare it with the Aurea. Why did I choose those products? So the U80, the closest, closest thing that is um, that you can compare with the U80 is an Aurea because the Aurea has a 73 degree angle, okay? And the U80, as obvious as it can get, the U80 has an 80 degree um, wall. So that is the closest thing to the U80. And the U60, um, having, having a flat bottom, which is, I think this one. Yeah, we're gonna use this one. Having a flat bottom, not really conical at all. Um, we're gonna compare it with the origami, which also has a 60 degree angle. And we're gonna use a Kalita filter for that. Right? Oh, by the way, if you want to see the video of that unboxing, I'm gonna put the link here. And right now we're gonna compare Bruce with the puzzle dripper. Okay, let me put my overhead camera here. This is a really, um, I think it's a really big experiment. For the coffee, we're gonna use coffee from Herd. Yeah, so this is Kerinsi Kayu Aro Honey Process. This is um, a gift from Anna when she traveled recently to Bandung. Oh no, is my Akaya broken? I'm gonna sort that out later. We're gonna use a, a different uh, scale. Okay, so right now I'm weighing 26 grams of coffee. And we're gonna grind it with the fellow opus. So for the first brew, we're gonna use the U80 versus an Aurea V3. Okay, um, to show you the differences of this brewer, I'm gonna show you the underside. There, the Aurea looks like that, and the U80 looks like that. So, it should be a lot faster for the U80. Let's get the coffee, and we're gonna weigh is 13.2 okay and for this one for the U80 so I'm just gonna flatten the bed and then um, before we start let's get our water now we're gonna do a simple two-pour method so as to try not to add any more variables to the brew and let the brewer make their own coffee, 
right? So I'm just gonna tear the scale and then start the timer at the same time. Right. Now we're gonna pour up to 100 ml. So I'm just gonna shake the bed of the Oria and then shake the bed of the UAT. I can see that the U80 really is a faster brewer, no? Yeah, it really is faster because Okay, and then at and then at 1 minute I'm going to pour again at the same time. Up to 200 ml. Now shake it. Oh, the U80 really is faster. Okay, so the U80 finished at 151. And then the Oreo is still going. I finished at 202. Even though I was... Okay, let me put back the kettles first. Okay, um, even though I was um, able to pour on the left side first every time because I don't have much control with my left hand, the UAT always manages to catch up um, despite receiving water a little later, finished faster. It actually finished at 157 while, while the Oreo V3 finished at 2 minutes and 3 seconds. So we're going to try this while they're hot. Definitely there is a difference in their taste. Let me try one more time by drinking it from a cup. The grind size that we used is a bit big for this um, comparison. So the Oreo actually produced much sweeter coffee than the UAT. Why? Because the slower drawdown of the Oreo made the cup sweeter because of longer contact time, right? Um, I think the UAT would um, definitely benefit from uh, smaller grind sizes where you can actually choke by using other drippers. But in this case, um, the Oreo wins. If we bring down the grind size to a much smaller size, the, I'm sure that the Oreo will definitely choke and it will definitely stall and it will lead to over extraction. If you have a U80, um, be sure to explore brewing with finer grind sizes and actually maximize the features of the dripper. We're gonna end it there. Now we're gonna try brewing with the U60 and the origami. Okay, now both of the waters are ready. And for this one, I'm gonna stand up so that I have um, better control on both of the kettles. Timer. Let's shake the bed. I think the U60 is a lot slower than the origami. At one minute, we're gonna pour another 100 ml. And I'm gonna shake the bed again. Right, so the origami has spaces in between because of the, even though we are using a cake filter, the, there are um, little allowances in their walls in order for the water to move past quickly. Um, while the U60, the U60 I think has um, smaller bumps or ribs inside. 
so it has less water bypass. Right, so the origami finished at 159. Ooh, that was fast. And we are still waiting on the U60. Still brewing. And I think we're done. Right, so the U60 finished at 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Wow. Okay, that was um, a lot longer than I thought. Considering we did a two-pour method, I, some recipes would actually finish at around the same time by using three-pour method, four-pour methods. That actually took a while. Now we're gonna try, um, I wanna try the origami first because I'm more familiar with the origami. Mmm, very bright. The brew on the origami is a lot better than, than those two. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna try the U60. The brew on the U60 has some harshness to it. Uh, maybe because of the um, slower drawdown. So if we are going to rate this by uh, drawdown speed, this is what we're gonna get. So the fastest is this U80. And this is the coffee for that. Next is the origami. And this is the coffee for that. Next is the... The U60 was the slowest. Oria. This is the coffee for that. And this is for the U60. Okay, um, we used the same coffee, same grind size, same pouring technique and same water with the same mineral. So now I'm gonna try all of the coffees all at once. So this one is the fastest. Okay, and then the origami finishing at 159. Very nice brightness to it. Next is the Oreo finishing at two minutes and three seconds. I'm not completely sure. And the U60. So I would very much prefer these coffees on the left side, these coffees on this side. Um, the coffee with um, the coffee brewed with the UAP. Again, the grind size that we used is setting number seven on the fellow Opus. All of this is dependent on that grind size. So it will change if you do a different grind size. It will change if you do a different pouring technique. Right? Remember all the results that I am um, telling you now, that I'm showing you now, is dependent on the parameters that we used on this episode only. Right? So eventually I'm gonna do like, like a master class for this brewer. Um, we already um, made a video like a master class for the origami and the Oria and eventually the U60. So I'm gonna go through all of them again one more time because it's a lot cooler now. The temperatures have fallen. This one, I would really, again, I would really much prefer the coffees on this side because the coffee with the U80 is very sweet. Even though the brightness is um, now gone when, when it's cooled down, the origami is also sweet, but not as sweet as the U80. And it's got some very nice brightness to it. The Oria, it's very astringent. I'm guessing um, when we simply poured um, the water, when we simply dumped all the water, that volume of water into the Oria, um, all the coffees floated and then the water is under and then it did not extract anything at all. So this coffee is very astringent and it's very under extracted. And the coffee on the U60 is over extracted. It is very bitter and it has a metallic taste already. So yeah. We're gonna do master class episode on these brewers on how to perfectly use them. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!